video we're gonna talk about Facebook developer toolkit um, so the first thing you need to do is um, you need to go to Facebook toolkit dot complex dot com and um, you can go here to download or you can click on view all downloads uh, what I did in my case was went to view all downloads takes you to this spot and from here uh, what I did is I went to get a get download the 3.1 beta which is taking me over here which is the same thing as here but a beta version and I did a I downloaded the samples and the documentation and the binaries too so once you have that you can first thing you need to do is add reference to your project like I did here at facebook.com uh, Facebook right here I added this one and this one too Facebook web forms right there uh, let me show you the tool in the toolbox what I got from the admin I have a few controls here um, on this video I'm just gonna cover the friend list control so I'm gonna close this guy and without wasting any time we're gonna run this um, application and this video is a set of series of, of videos I'm gonna be doing so here we go the first thing that will show up is the Facebook login a window just like uh, in facebook.com we're gonna log in So once the uh, login is successful, you get a list of of uh, your friends here, and this control will give you the total number of friends you have, their names and network in this case, and their images. So if you go down the list, they're still loading. Seems to have a bad connection, and that control is this one, the, the this control here friends list um, of course you can name it whatever you want but here's what I got so far so you got your friends and this other tab we got some taste data over here uh, we're getting the latest status uh, that's the current user uh, so I made once something up time to go home and at the bottom here we got our news feed It has so far I've been working on getting the image the user who posted and the message and on this row what I'm gonna be doing is adding a link or it depends what kind of attachment uh, the user has done and on this uh, video we're just gonna cover here uh, we're gonna attach we can attach uh, images on, on this video I have uh, work on attaching images uh, on this video we're not going to do it but it does uh, it does work uh, correctly so I'm going to test something out okay, so we're back so once it's posted that's the latest status from it so we're gonna go over the code just to get uh, going on this video um, I have a link at this bar here just to log out um, once we do that we're gonna gonna go over the code to get that part done so the first thing you guys need to do is make sure you have your name spaces done correctly and a few other ones because I've been using those uh, but I'll explain it as we go on uh, the first thing I've done is let me hide this is um, set I'm be using the desktop session object and what it this does is let us log in log out get session to the secret if we need it and 
user ID and expiration time. Um, and then next I have the clear uh, dictionary. I will be holding uh, my friend's uh, user ID and their names for future reference. Uh, and then, then I have set up uh, the API. This is the one that actually does talk to uh, Facebook uh, request. Uh, uh, this guy is a web browser and this browser is this one right here. This is the one that shows you the news feed. So go down the list and all this is done in the forms load event. The next thing we do is pretty easy, set permissions. And as you can see, it's really easy to build this list of different kind of permissions depending on what we need. So just leave it as it is. Uh, the first time you do this and log in, uh, Facebook will prompt you if you allow your application um, to post or upload or read or update your uh, status. Uh, as we go down here, here I initialize the desktop session object and I pass my application ID. Uh, I set it to false because this is not a WPF uh, program and then finally I pass the permissions that I want then this is optional but I here declare a login event and here's where I request to log into to Facebook same thing here logout event and here I set uh, the session to expire to true now once that's done you can save your session key because you're gonna need that one later on and you, your user ID and other things if you guys need it so the API is the one that makes the work for us and all it needs is a valid session remember this is the desktop session as you can see it's highlighted the desktop session we need that so once we pass it then we can start making calls in this case I'll be calling the API friends get user objects and then I'm gonna dump this I list into my control friends property which is this guy So once you dump it, that's what you have to do. The control will take care of the rest. And then the next step that I've done is dump all the friends uh, info into this I list so I can look through and get you know details. Uh, in this case, I'm gonna be grabbing the user ID and the user name, and I'm gonna be saving those uh, two values into the dictionary the dictionary that I talked about right over here so in the load event I'm grabbing the user ID and the name then finally I get the get status and get news feed uh, so far I'm gonna go down and this event is just a link button to log out so in the next video I'm gonna go through the get status and get news feed because it's quite complex and finally uh, this is the one where we upload our images into our post um, stay tuned for the next series part 2 of the Facebook developer toolkit and it's pretty exciting you can do your own applications if you have any questions you can email me at v uh, v like victor pacheco p a c h e c o 99 at gmail.com thanks for watching